What is up, guys? Welcome to my review for Arrow of Season 6, Episode 21, titled Docker Number 1119-4173, which is a pretty awesome reference to the first ever issue of the Green Arrow, as well as Aquaman ever appeared in, which is issue 73 of Morphon Comics, which was uh, which was published on November 19th, 1941, which is what the numbers represent. The 11 is November, the 19 is the 19th, 41 is 1941, the 73 is issue 73 of more fun comics. Before I start the review, though, make sure to follow me on Twitter for better daily updates on my videos, as well as daily polls on the Arrowverse. Link is in the description. But this episode, now starting the review, this episode surrounded very much so the trial of Oliver Queen. Which, I mean, could have been the title of the episode, similar to how The Flash Season 4 Episode 10 was titled The Trial of the Flash, but I don't think The Trial of Oliver Queen is a storyline. In fact, I don't remember a comic book where Oliver Queen was on trial for being the Green Arrow, like The Flash was on trial for being, well, not The Flash, but for something. I don't think Oliver Queen or The Green Arrow has ever been in trial in a comic book storyline, although he probably has because a lot of superheroes have. But this uh, this episode surrounding the trial, it was so much more exciting and intense, and also tense, so much more tense than I expected it to be. It might not be accurate to a real-life trial because the comment said that it probably won't be, and in past episodes it hasn't, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest because, first of all, I don't know anything about real-life trials, and second of all, this isn't real life. This is a fictional universe, so if they have to change some things around here and there, then that's fine with me, but I just think this trial was really intense, it was really exciting, and the build-up to the final verdict of whether or not he's guilty or whether or not he's innocent was really, really tense in my opinion, and this trial in general is just so much better than I expected it to be, and I think it's a lot better than the trial on The Flash, which happened earlier in the, this season, in season 4. The trial also had some great standout moments, such as um, the that moment when they were, like with the testimonies, when they were switching between Dinah's testimony and Diggle's testimony, I think that was so great, and then the other testimony, which was Renee's testimony, which was incredibly acted by Rick Gonzalez, I think his name is, the actor who plays Renee, and this is something that's really built build, build up since episode 9 of the season, where Renee revealed that he was going to testify against Oliver in court, which... A lot of people hated him for that, but I honestly defended him a little bit. I didn't really, like, un I got where he was coming from, but the way he went about it was a little cold, but I think the way he went about it in this episode was so much better, and I'm going to talk about it later in the video, but I love the fact that Oliver and Renee finally made amends, but I think this scene where uh, Diaz was threatening Zoe, I think her name is Zoe, yeah, Zoe, and then and then Renee reacts to that. He was gonna he was gonna lie and say that Oliver isn't the Green Arrow, but his reaction to the fact that Diaz was there with Zoe was incredible. And I think these testimonies really made the trial more exciting. And it was my probably my favorite favorite part of the trial were the testimonies and especially Renee's testimony. And also there was Laurel's testimony, which I think was really great, and that was the official conclusion of the Black Star Siren Redemption arc, which she's she's 100% on the side of good now, she betrayed Diaz in that scene, I think that the, the I, th I might have said the conclusion of the redemption arc was in the last episode, I don't remember if I said that in my review for the last episode, or maybe the trailer breakdown for this episode, but I changed my mind, I think this scene right here where Laurel says that Oliver Queen is not the Green Arrow and, and, and Tommy Merlin is, is the scene where the redemption arc finally ends and she's on the side of good, and I thought it was, in general, a really great scene showing how Laurel betrays Diaz, and then there was the fight later on with Diaz versus Laura, if I'm just staying on topic, which I think um, was pretty cool. I like the fact how Diaz was prepared for her, and it, and I don't know why he didn't kill her, because she did betray him, but I do like the fact that he was prepared for her, and prepared for the fact that she would probably, probably uh, go against him, and then he was like, he's going to kill Oliver Queen instead of try to try to discredit him, which I think honestly got me pretty excited for the next episode, similar to how the last episode got me pretty excited for this episode, but back to the trial, we had the return of Tommy Merlin, or did we? Actually, before I talk about Tommy's return, I want to talk about something else during the trial, which was all the points brought up in the trial, like there was a lot of things talked about from previous seasons that it felt like all of all of the previous seasons have been leading to this, like some some people brought up something from season 5 where Susan, Susan Williams got that picture of Oliver Queen in Russia and then Oliver admitted that he was in Hong Kong and Russia during the 5 year period, I think I, I honestly really like that and how also Oliver Queen said that uh, Roy Harper 
the, who back in season three was arrested for being the arrow. It turns out that Oliver Queen like says that uh, he Roy Harper was not the arrow, and I really like that. I like the revelations that they had to the public in this episode, and it really felt like the seasons have been building up to this episode and this storyline, considering everything they brought up in the trial. So I really like that. But getting back to my point about Tommy Merlin, I still think that I really don't like the fact that they revealed this this uh, the fact that he's coming back in the trailer for this episode i did not like that and i'm gonna explain why right now so before the trailer was released it was revealed a while back that tommy would be returning for this episode and i got pretty excited because i mean he's a great character and it's nice to see him back but it was pretty much confirmed back then that it would be a flashback because Stephen mel said that he hasn't filmed a single flashback this season so he's happy to see colin donald's who plays tommy merlin's chair at the Arrow set, but it turns out he was kind of lying, and I, there were no flashbacks in this episode, which I think that's definitely a good thing, because that would have dragged down this particular episode, but I really don't like the fact that they revealed the fact that Tommy Merlin will be returning in the present day as the Green Arrow at the trial in the trailer, which honestly, bought, like, slightly brings down the, the score of this episode, which honestly would have been a perfect a score without uh, the, the spoiler in the trailer, which I said in my trailer back then that that would bring down the score of the episode, because just imagine watching this episode suspecting, like expecting a Tommy Merlin flashback scene, but then Tommy Merlin shows up out of nowhere onto the trial. Granted, it turns out that he wasn't Tommy Merlin, and it was Christopher Chance, which, I mean, everybody predicted that, but granted, it would have been such a huge surprise to see him, and then maybe a little letdown once Christopher Chance uh, showed up, but I mean... I don't think it would have been a letdown. I think it would have been expected, and it would have been it would have been probably like less convoluted because how is Tommy Merlin back? And I don't really think he should come back to life at all. Like that death scene was uh, one of the best death scenes in the Arrowverse, and it was very like permanent. And I'm glad it is. So that would have been just blown my mind if he showed up in the trial and then turned out to be Christopher Chance later in the episode. Also, like in the the opening scene of the episode, you see Diggle go get Christopher Chance from this place, and I think Christopher Chance is just so hard to say, I'm just gonna say Human Target, because that is his name, I like that, you don't, see, you don't see his face, so that doesn't spoil the rest of the episode, but the trailer does, so that kind of sucks, but I didn't actually talk about what I think about Tommy being back, and I, I like the fact that he's back, I think, well, he's not really back, I, I like the fact that the Human Target, I like how they use the Human Target in this episode, I think that it was, it's really cool, the same way how they used him in, the pre in Season 5, I think he has really cool abilities i wouldn't want to see him more than like once a year like he said himself because that would just break all of the rules because that would make everything way too easy but i like how i like how he was used in this episode and to see tommy back to see that effect on oliver was honestly pretty amazing so now i want to talk about probably the, mo the most satisfying part of the episode which was oliver and renee making amends you see that earlier in the episode renee does not want oliver to go to jail even though they have beef and then renee like thinks of a plan to help him out i really like how they made amends in this episode it was just so satisfying seeing seeing the team broken up seeing oliver work by himself it was fun for an episode or two but like i don't like i didn't really like the conflict in Team Arrow. I was, I was excited for an Arrow Civil War back before it happened, but once it happened, it kind of made the season less exciting, and to see Team Arrow back again, at least, like, making amends and being on talking terms, like, maybe they're not going to work together for every one of these episodes, maybe they are, Who because if they do, if they bring back Team Arrow in this season, that would defeat the purpose of what Oliver Queen learned in episode... 19 or 7 18 episode 18 with uh, fundamentals so that wouldn't really make sense but they could always come back and up in season 7 i just really like it was, it was a really satisfying moment where oliver and renee make amends and you could probably bet that that moment will probably be high on the list on my top 10 hours moments of the week which i don't know will probably come out later today or tomorrow but i really like this moment i think it was really satisfying in general there wasn't thinking about it there was probably nothing wrong with this episode, there was nothing bad about this episode except for the fact that Tommy's return, in quotations, because he didn't really return, was spoiled in the episode, which gives the score of the episode, like, 0.1 less than it should, which means it's not a 10 out of 10. But in conclusion, this episode was really great. The trial was extremely tense, exciting, and intense. The buildup towards the verdict at the end was exciting, like I said, as well as the, the callbacks 
to the last episode and the pro the the, the points brought up brought up against Oliver or the Green Arrow were, were great. Renee's testimony was great. Tommy's return, although spoiled in the episode, or I mean the Human Target's return, although spoiled in the episode, kinda was honestly pretty great. Laurel's testimony was great. The Diaz versus Laurel fight scene was I mean it wasn't amazing or anything, but Diaz being prepared was cool. And I, I I don't like the fact that he didn't kill her. I didn't want her to die, but it didn't make sense that he didn't kill her. So that might be something, another thing that's not good about this episode. And then the really satisfying moment of Oliver and Renee making amends as well as, a, as something that gets me excited for the next episode with Diaz saying that he will try to kill Oliver Queen in the next episode as well as the season finale. So I'll give this episode a 9.9 .9 out of 10. But let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.